Uh, it happened uh, a few weeks ago, mm. um, earlier this month, here at, at our cottage. Um, just a standard, typical night it's for us. It's a cosy night. I was, what were we doing? Just roasting chicken roasting and having... Roasting chicken. <laughs> trying to roast chicken. <laughs> trying to roast a chicken. And it was just, a, uh, just an amazing surprise. It was so sweet and, and natural and very romantic. He got on one knee. <laughs> of course. Was it an instant yes from you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I could barely let you finish proposing. I said, like, yeah. can I say yes now? She didn't even let me finish. She said, can I say yes, can I say yes now? And then, then there was hugs and I had the ring in my finger. And I was like, can I, can I give you the ring? And she goes, oh, yes, the ring. <laughs> so no, it was, um, it was a really nice moment. It was just the two of us. And um, I think I managed to catch, catch her by surprise as well. So. Yeah. I don't think that I would call it a whirlwind uh, in terms of our relationship. Obviously, there have been layers attached to how public it has become um, after we had a good five, six months almost mm. with just privacy, which was amazing. Um, but no, I think we were able to really have so much time just to connect, and we never went longer than two weeks without seeing each other, even though we were obviously doing a long distance relationship. So it's, um, we made it work. How did you first meet? Uh, mm. Yes, we first met, we were introduced actually by a mutual friend who um, we will... We should protect her privacy. Protect and her privacy, yeah. Reveal too much of that. And, um, but it was, it was literally, it was through her, and then we met once and then twice, back to back, two dates in London mm. um, last July. Yes. Beginning of July. And then it was, I think, about three, maybe four weeks later that I managed to <laughs> persuade her to come and join me in Botswana, and we... And we, we, we camped out with each other under the stars. And we spent, she came and joined me for five days out there, which was absolutely fantastic. So then we were really by ourselves, mm -hmm. um, which, I th which was crucial to me to make sure that we had a, a chance to, to get to know each other. Yeah, because we talk about it now. And even then, I, you know, because I'm from the States, you don't grow up with the same understanding of, of the royal family. And mm. so while I now understand very clearly, there's a, a global interest there. I didn't know much about him, and so the only thing that I had asked her when she said she wanted to set us up was, I had one question, I said, well, is he nice? Because if he wasn't kind, it just didn't, it didn't seem like it would make sense, and so we went and um, had a, met for a drink, and then I think very quickly into that we said, well, what are we doing tomorrow? We should, yeah. we should meet again. What are we doing tomorrow? Let's meet again. And then it was like, right, diaries. We need to get the diaries out and find out how we're going to make this work because I was off to Africa for a month. Mm. Um, she was working and we just said, right, where's, where's the gap? And the gap happened to be in the perfect place. Um, so I'd never, <laughs> never even heard about her until this friend said, Meghan Markle. I was like, right, okay, give me a Give me a bit of background, <laughs> what's, like what's going on here. So no, I'd never, I'd, I'd never watched Suits. I'd, I'd never heard of Megan before, mm -hmm. and I was beautifully surprised when I when I walked into that room and saw her, and there she was sitting there. I was like, okay, well I really have to up, up, up my game. <laughs> I have to sit down and have a, and make sure I've got a good chat. I think for both of us, though, it was it was really refreshing because given that I didn't know a lot about him, everything that I've learned about him, I learned through him, as opposed to having yeah. grown up around different news stories or tabloids or whatever else, anything I learned about him and his family was what he would share with me and vice versa. So mm -hmm. for both of us, it was just a really authentic and organic way to get to know each other. Great. Yeah, no, it was hugely refreshing to be able to get to, to know someone who isn't necessarily within your circle, doesn't know much about me, I don't know about much about her. So to be able to start almost afresh, right from the beginning and getting to know each other step by step. Um, and then taking that huge leap of only two dates and then <laughs> and then going basically effectively on in holiday together nowhere. in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. and you know, showing a showing a tent together and all that kind of stuff. It was no, it was it was fantastic. It was absolutely amazing to get to know her mm -hmm. um, as as quickly as I did. It was just a choice, right? I think that very early on when we realized we were going to commit to each other that we knew we had to invest the time and the energy and whatever it took to make that happen. Yeah. And um, so yes, with the filming schedule, it was not the easiest because it of course included a lot of travel back and forth, but. I don't think you've had any idea what time zone you've been on for the last year and a half. 
No. <laughs> coming over here four days or a week and then going back and then straight into filming the next day, 4 a.m. wake up calls on a Monday, yes. straight into set, you know. And right off the plane and straight to set and yeah. just coming I'm just back trying and to, Just again. trying to stay as close as possible, but you know, on, on two different time zones and five hours apart does have its challenges. But, mm. um, but we, you know, we made it work and, 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 and now we're here, so we're thrilled. I think I can very safely say, as naive as it sounds now, mm. having gone through this learning curve in the past year and a half, I did not have any understanding of just what it would be like. I don't think either of us did that. We both said that, even though we knew yeah, that I, it would be. Yeah, I tried to, I tried, I tried to warn, I tried to warn you as much as possible, mm -hmm. but I think both of us were in, totally surprised by the, the reaction after the first five, six months of when we had to ourselves of what actually happened from then. So I think you can, you can have as many conversations as you want and pr try and prepare as much as possible, but we were, we were totally un unprepared for, for what happened after that. The scrutiny. Well, all sorts. <laughs> no, I mean, I think also because there's a misconception that because I have worked in the entertainment industry that this would be something I would be familiar with. But even though I'd been on my show for, I guess, six years at that point, and working before that, I've never been part of tabloid culture. I've never been in pop culture to that degree and, and lived relatively quiet life even though I focus so much on my job and um, so that was a really stark mm. difference out of the gate but um, and I think we were just hit so hard at the beginning with a lot of mistruths that I made the choice to not read anything positive or negative it just didn't make sense and instead we focused all of our energies just on nurturing our relationship on us, yeah. on us. you know at the end of the day I'm really just proud of who I am and where I come from and we have never put any focus on that. We've just mm. focused on who we are as a couple. And so when you take all those extra layers away and all of that noise, um, I think it makes it really easy to just enjoy being together and mm. tune all the rest of that out. For me, it's a, an added member of the family. It's, a, it's, a, it's another, another team player as part of the, the bigger team. And you know, for all of us, all we want to do is be able to carry out um, the right engagements, carry out our work, and try and encourage others and the younger generation to be able to see the, the world in the, in the correct sense, rather than um, perhaps being dis having a, a distorted view. So, you know, the fact, that I, the fact that I fell in love with Megan so incredibly quickly was a, was a sort of confirmation to me that, that everything, everything, all the stars were aligned, everything was just perfect, it was this, beautiful woman just sort of literally tripped and fell into my life, I <laughs> fell into her life. And the fact that she, I, I know the fact that she'll be really unbelievably good at the job part of it as well, um, is obviously a huge, huge relief to me because she'll be able to deal with, with everything else that comes with it. But um, mm -hmm. no, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're a fantastic team, we know we are, and, and we'll, we, we hope to, you know, over time, try and have as much impact for all the things that we care about as, as much as possible. I am very excited about that, yeah. Very early out of the gate, I think you realize once you have access or a voice that people are willing to listen to with that comes a lot of responsibility, mm. which I take seriously. And at the same time, I think in these beginning few months and now being boots on the ground in the UK, I'm excited to just really get to know more about the different communities here, smaller organizations who are working on the same causes that I've always been passionate about under this umbrella. And um, and also being able to go around to the Commonwealth. I think it's just mm. just the beginning of a... There's a lot to do. Really. There's a lot to do. <laughs> but I, I don't see it as giving anything up. I just see it as a it's change. A, it's, a new, it's a new challenge. It's a new, it's a new chapter, yeah. right? And, and also keep in mind, I, I've been working on my show for seven years. Um, so we are very, very fortunate to be able to have that sort of longevity on a series. And for me, once we hit the 100 episode marker, I thought, you know what, I have, I have ticked this box and I feel really proud of the work I've done there. And now it's time to, as you said, work, work as a team yeah. with, with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. That sense of responsibility was, was essentially from day one or maybe a couple of months in when I suddenly realized actually this is, you know, I've, I've, I feel, I know that I'm in love with this girl and I hope that she's in love with me, but we still had to sit down on the sofa and I still, you know, I still had to, have some pretty, you know, frank conversations with her to say that you know what you're letting yourself in for is, mm. it is, it's, it's a big, it's a big deal, and it's, um, you know, it's not, I wouldn't, it's not, it's not easy for anybody. Um, but I know that, you know, at the end of the day, she, she chooses me, and I choose her, 
um, and therefore, you know, whatever whatever we have to tackle together or individually will always be us together as a team. So, I think I think she's capable. That's so of, nicely said, isn't it? You know, I don't know. She's capable of she's capable of anything. Um, and together, as I said, there's there's a hell of a lot of stuff and work that needs doing. Um, at the moment, for us, it's going to be making sure that our relationship is always put first. But um, no, look, both of us have passions for, 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 for wanting to make change, change for good. And, uh, you know, with lots of young people running around the Commonwealth, that's where we're going to spend most of our time, hopefully. And it was really one of the first things we connected on. It was one of the yeah. first things we started talking about when we met was just the different things that we wanted to do in the world and how passionate we were about seeing change. I think that was... Um, mm. That's what got date two <laughs> in the books, probably. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, plenty to talk about. Mm. Children? Not, Plans? not currently, no. <laughs> um, no, of course, you know. I, I think um, you know one one, th one step at a time, and hopefully we'll we'll start a family in the near future. Have you you met each other's families? I imagine. Yes, his family has been so welcoming, and and you've met quite a few of them actually. I have on both sides of his family, his mom's yeah. side as well, which has been really important to me too. But um, yes, the family has been great, and over the past year and a half, we've just had really nice time getting to know them and progressively helping me feel a part of of not just the mm. institution but also part of the family, which has been really. Um, Really special. Trying to track them down and make sure that they're around at the same time that she's popping in without telling too many people. And uh, <laughs> so we've managed. We've actually done incredibly well um, to make sure that you've met all the all the key people. Have you met the Queen? I have. Yes. A couple of times. Yes, what was that like? A couple of times. Um, it's incredible. I think, you know, a to be able to meet her through his lens, not just with his honor and respect for her as the monarch, but the love that he has for her as his grandmother, all of those layers have been so important for me so that when I met her, I had such a deep understanding and, of course, incredible respect for being able to have that time with her. And and we've had a really, she's she's an incredible woman. And the, and the corgis took to you straight away. <laughs> That's true. For the last 33 years being barked at, this one walks in absolutely <laughs> Just nothing. laying on Just my feet during tea, it was very sweet. And it's just like, oh. <laughs> um, your ring. Oh, yes. Tell us about your ring. Um, the ring is, is obviously yellow gold because that's what, um, her favourite. And the main stone itself um, I sourced from Botswana. And the, uh, the little diamonds either side are from my mother's jewellery collection to make sure that she's with us on this, on this crazy journey together. Mm. Um, and It's beautiful. And he designed yeah. it. It's incredible. Um, yeah. Yeah. And make sure it stays on that finger. Of course. <laughs> what does it mean to you, Megan, to have those stones on your finger that once belonged to Princess Diana? I, I think everything about um, Harry's thoughtfulness is, and the inclusion of that and obviously not being able to meet his mom, it's so important to me to, to know that she's a part of this with us and, and I think in being able to meet his aunts and and also to be like Julia mm. and mm. just different people who are so important to his mom. I'm able to, in some way, know a part of her through them and mm. of course through him. And it's um, it's incredibly special and you know to be able to have this, which sort of links where you come from and Botswana, which is important to us. And it's uh, it's perfect. 